Today I've got the Dude Tenna NFED Half Wave Antenna. This antenna from the popular Ham Radio Dudes YouTube channel has some unique features that separate it from other NFED antennas on the market. Let's take a look. The Dude Tenna NFED Half Wave, like other NFED kits on the market, is pretty similar to the others in construction and performance. But there are a couple of key differences in this antenna that set it apart. First off, the Dude Tenna uses a different toroid than the others. Most NFEDs that are capable of 100 watt transmit power will commonly use the T140-43 toroid. Uh, this antenna is different in that it, its transformer is built around the larger Fairwright 43 mix toroid. Uh, this bigger toroid has about three times the mass as the T140, giving you greater permeability and a slightly more bandwidth. With a bigger toroid, it should, be, it should be able to handle a full 100 watt sideband without overheating. The other two notable features are with the use of an SO239 or UHF female connection instead of a BNC. So no adapter will, re will be required if your coax has PL259s. And finally, the kit comes with 75 feet of Vectron fiber reinforced wire. A Vectron fiber, much like Kevlar, will not stretch or break, giving your radiator wire greater mechanical strength for use out into the field. Now this kit's available with or without the wire, so you can build the transformer and then supply your own wire. It's your choice. Now the Ham Radio Dudes did send me a Dudetenna NFED Half Wave Antenna Kit to build and to put on the air uh, in exchange for a video. But my opinions are my own and there is no outside influence, so let's head inside. We're going to build this antenna and then put it on the air. This is the build of the um, HRD Industries. Um, otherwise known as the Ham Radio Dudes uh, NFED Half Wave Antenna Kit. I think he calls this the Dude Tenna. Let's look at what we get inside this envelope. Uh, first off, a uh, business card and our sticker. A uh, Ham Radio Industries. Uh, Sean W9FFF uh, makes these antennas. You can find them online on Etsy and uh, you can order them with the kits with or without the uh, radiating wire. Inside the kit, what we're going to receive is approximately five and a half feet. This is 18 gauge enameled uh, copper wire, a few zip ties that we can use for securing the uh, toroid to the wire winder. Uh, pull out this wrap here. This is the toroid that comes with the kit. This is a little bit different than what you're going to normally receive. And, oh, as you can see right now, this is pretty beefy. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Couple pieces of heat shrink tubing. Uh, we got our capacitor, 100, I believe this is 100 picofarad uh, capacitor, and a couple of ring terminals. Now, if you now this, if you if you've got the the bear kit, this is everything you're going to get. Uh, you can add to that kit this uh, wire. This is approximately 75 feet of um, 22, I think it's about 22 gauge wire. It's uh, reinforced with a fiber called Vectron, very similar to Kevlar. So it's gonna be very strong. It's not gonna, it's not gonna stretch uh, high quality uh, a wire here. So you can, uh, he just, when he sent me the kit, he just wound it onto a, 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 a winder form that was a part of a failed print. So I don't know if you're going to get that or not, but you'll get the, you'll get the, with the deluxe kit, you'll definitely get the uh, 75 feet of, of wire there. And one other thing you're going to receive too, uh, I guess with both kits, and this little form is uh, for the um, 
uh, an inductance coil you can put on your radiator. Uh, what uh, Sean has found is that with this heavier toroid, you'll get a great match on the fundamental frequency. Uh, this kit's designed for 40 through 10 meters. But um, as you look, as it goes higher and higher in frequency, the dips themselves start to fall outside of the bands for the uh, 20, 15, and 10 meters. And if you add a little bit of inductance, uh, what this will do is it's not going to really affect the fundamental frequency, the 40 meters at all. So you can tune for 40, but it's going to bring those dips back, uh, for the higher upper bands uh, back down within range. So this is a little 3D printed piece that comes as part of the, of the, of the kit now. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the toroid, though, because I think this is important. Um, okay, uh, as you can see here, on my right, this is the T, um, or this is the, uh, the, the toroid that comes with the uh, ham radio, with the Dude 10 of the Ham Radio Industries uh, NFED Halfwave. It's a Fairwrite, a Type 43 mix, 264-325-1002. Um, also, I, I think he also... Uh, identifies it by its uh, digikey number 1934-1079-ND. And on, on the left is a T140-43 uh, style toroid. That's the one that you'll commonly find in NFED half-wave antennas. And as you can see right away, there is this one, this, this one on the right is about three times the mass as the standard T140 uh, 43. So a couple of advantages to that, you know, number one is you're going to get um, better permeability. So if you're running, you know, 400 watts, it's more mass means it's, it's going to take more time for it to heat up. Uh, so you'll get better, uh, better results in extended sessions uh, transmitting using this antenna. Also, uh, you get a little bit more efficiency with, uh, with, with the greater mass of this of, of of this toroid so this antenna is supposed to be a little, will, will probably be a little bit more efficient than using the smaller t140 and that are and that's all the parts for the uh, ham radio industries uh, do antenna uh, the basic kit and then uh, the deluxe with the uh, vectron uh, reinforced uh, wire so let's start building this thing After building the antenna, we are now going to need to cut the wire to length and tune it. Now this antenna comes with about 75 feet of radiating wire. That's enough to make a 40 through 10 meter NFED half-wave antenna. Uh, the procedure to tune an NFED half-wave is to cut and tune the antenna to the fundamental or bottom frequency of that you wish, and then the dips should correspondingly fall into the upper amateur radio bands. Now we'll be in tuning this antenna for the bottom of the 40 meter band. This will give us optimal performance for CW and digital modes and okay performance for sideband on the upper portion of the bands. That's a trade-off I'm willing to make as sideband tends to be a little bit more forgiving to slightly higher SWR. Now the common formula uh, for uh, 
cutting a uh, half wave antenna is 468 divided by its frequency in megahertz. And then we'll apply a velocity factor of 97%. We should end up with about 64 feet 10 inches. Now I'm going to cut this antenna to about 66 feet. And the reason why is I'm going to want a little bit more wire to work with. And then I can always trim it down a second time from there. It's always better to cut too long than too short. Also, when cutting the radiator, uh, since the length of the wire is not precisely 75 feet, we should first measure from the transformer end of the antenna for our desired length. This will assure us that we have a proper length of radiator. Sixty-three. And sixty-six. Just gonna make a temporary loop so we can hang this antenna up. Hey doggo, how you doing today? Yeah. There we go. Okay, for our first go round, I cut the antenna for 66 feet, and according to the meter, at um, 7 megahertz, it's about 2 to 1. It's actually its best um, at 6.82 megahertz, so slightly out of the band. That tells us the antenna is a little bit long, so since the optimal was 64 feet uh, 10 inches, and I'm at 66 feet, I can take oh, about 14 inches off and it should just edge things up um, a little bit on the 40 meter band. So let's take about a foot off and see where we end up. Taking another reading, um, it did. We did move our um, SWR up to um, the um, bottom of the 40 meter band. It's our minimum now is is about 1.78 to one, just at about uh, seven megahertz, which is really nice. It's a little bit high on 40 meters. It concerns me a little bit, but I think part of the problem is proximity, maybe with the vehicle and whatnot maybe if i can move the maybe if we move the antenna away from the vehicle um, and um, we don't have a counterpoise on here we should probably add a counterpoise too at some point in time might help fix things a little bit but um, i'm going to leave the length as is because that's the recommended length and i'm getting good results what i am going to do is i'm going to add the the little coil and um, what this will do is um, we put this on the antenna about six feet up from the feed point and that'll create a, a bit of an inductance and it should give us just a little bit better resonance on the upper bands so 10 to 12 turns uh, we're going to start with 10 see what that does and um, we should be good to go from there Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are wrapping this up with electrical tape just to hold it in place. If this, if I'm satisfied with this, I will use heat shrink. Okay, adding the coil did a couple of things. Number one, it uh, lowered my SWR on the 40 meter band. I'm under two to one for the entire band. The lowest point at the bottom of the band is 1.5 to one. If I switch to the other bands, um, I see um, similar uh, corresponding dips. Uh, about 1.5 to one 
in, dipping in most of the bands here. A nice um, set of dips all the way down to the 10 meter band. So I'm really happy. So uh, let's put the dude tenna on the air. Uh, the whiskey four again? It's a special event, special event. Whiskey four, Mike. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there, Mike. Oh. Whiskey four, Mike. I got you. Three, three in the U.S. four, two, six, six. Back to you. All right, buddy. I got you a five, five, fifty-five here in the park. Three, three, seven, eight. That's thirty-three. 78 in Virginia, QSL. Roger the 3378 in Virginia, and uh, thanks for the park today. What's your special event? Uh, we're celebrating Moonshine Heritage Month down here in the Franklin County, Virginia. Over. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Great to hear. Save some for me. All right, yeah, I can send you a free sample, but uh, I think I ran out of them already there, Mike. So hopefully you're having a good day in your park. And uh, as always, thanks for all your videos, buddy. Hey, it's my pleasure. It's a beautiful sunny day, so glad to get out. So you have a great uh, activation and an excellent special event. All right, Mike, you have a great activation, buddy. 7-3. Seven, 7-3, three. <laughs> seven, three, take it easy. Uh, KB9VBR parks on the air. Here is it. Kilo 4 Echo Mike, nice 5-9 into US 4266, back to you. Yeah, QSL 59, you're 5 and 7, 57 and Golf Alpha, 7 threes. All right, thanks for Georgia. You have a great day in 7-3. KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, Kira Z. Kilo India 4, Yankee, Zulu, November. Kilo India 4, Yankee, Zulu, November, 5-3 into US 4266, back to you. All right, hey, thanks a lot for Tennessee today. You have a great day in 7-3. 7-3, good luck. Thank you, this is KB9VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo Yankee Zero Romeo. Kilo Yankee Zero Romeo 55 into US 4266, back to you. Yeah, you're also 55 into Charlie Oscar, Colorado, over. All right, hey, thanks a lot for Colorado today. You have a great day in 7-3. 7-3. So let's talk a little bit about Ham Radio Dudes, um, NFED Half Wave, the Dude Tenna. And it's um, uh, really kind of an interesting day to be on the air. It's just like for the last week, uh, we've had an awful lot of solar activity um, that have really kind of hampered effective um, HF uh, communications, a couple solar storms going on. So probably not the best time to be testing an antenna, but um, for the short time I was on the air on 20 meters with this thing, all I can say is it works. And uh, despite the horrendous band conditions, it's working actually quite well. So um, the nice thing about wire antennas is you get a lot of wire in the air, you could usually, it, it really helps kind of overcoming the, um, the challenges of, of poor propagation. So um, I can say right off on the outset, it is a, um, a well-designed, and it's an efficient antenna. I think that, um, you know, going with this beefier toroid, they've, um, uh, Ham Radio Dudes really made a good, uh, a good conscious choice in, um, in, in the design of the antenna. A uh, couple of things, you know, uh, he's also kind of made a couple of good iterations with it. Um, he sent me this kit like a month ago, and it wasn't until the end of April that I, or middle of April, that I really got it got the chance to kind of uh, go through it. And between that span of time, um, he's found that adding the coil really improves performance. Uh, the inductance coil really improves performance. He's changed the wire from a 22 gauge to an 18 gauge, a little something a little bit more um, uh, beefy to wrap around the toroid. That's the kind of things I like to see uh, with a with a manufacturer. You know, just that, just those attentions to details and um, listening listening to customer comments and, and and service after after the sale. So really really excellent marks on there. Uh, uh, 
putting the antenna together it was um, pretty easy. It took me about an hour to do it, and then about a, and then I spent probably about another 45 minutes or so out here in the park, uh, kind of do you know doing you know what I needed to do with. Um, the um, tuning it, adjusting it, and and whatnot. So that's that's kind of expected. Uh, you could get these online. Uh, he's got a shop on Etsy, so check it out. Um, only downside, I, I think, you know, with the antenna is that he doesn't have printed instructions. You just follow the YouTube video. Um, so be aware of that. But um, it goes together like just about any other NFED half wave antenna. So um, I think, you know, the, the video is excellent, you know, the quality. You can always pause and back up and, and whatnot. Uh, but if you're the kind of person that likes printed paper, that's not the thing that this antenna comes with. So that's probably the only downside. Uh, the kit's available with or without the wire. So that's nice too. Uh, you can pick and choose if you want to use your own what use your own radiating wire or if you want to use the stuff that he supplies. So uh, with that, uh, that is my review on Ham Radio Dude's Dude Tenna NFED Half Wave Antenna. Thank you Ham Radio Dude for sending it. It was fun to build the kit and put it on the air. Uh, links to everything will be down in the video description below. I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. You have a great day in 7.3.